There's a new proposal to raise the cigarette tax here in South Carolina by $1 a pack. It's being made by a group whose goal is to eliminate tobacco use, and they say this would keep a lot of young people from starting. News 2's Robert Kittle has details, including how this affects you, even if you don't smoke. Lighting up would burn through money a lot faster if the South Carolina Tobacco-Free Collaborative gets its way. Its new five-year plan would raise the cigarette tax by $1 a pack. South Carolina now has one of the lowest cigarette taxes in the nation, at 57 cents a pack. The national average is $1.60, so even if this were to pass, South Carolina would still be below the national average. The biggest impact would be that it would prevent kids from starting smoking in the first place. That's really the main point of having a cigarette increase, is that it would deter future smokers. The state raised the cigarette tax by 50 cents a pack in 2010, and the high school smoking rate has fallen 35 percent since then. I mean, I think it's a great idea, honestly. I started smoking when I was 16, and that was a really terrible decision. So I think raising it by a dollar would probably be a good idea. Even if you don't smoke, this affects you as a taxpayer. It costs every household in South Carolina $975 per year for the health care related costs of smoking. But it took years for state lawmakers to agree to a 50 cent cigarette tax increase, so raising it by another dollar will be difficult. I would like to think that since we've seen the benefits of a 50 cent increase, that that would help motivate people to look at a dollar increase. The collaborative says this is all about saving lives. Every year, about 7,200 people in South Carolina die because of smoking. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, News 2. Now, the group just released this plan, so it doesn't even have a lawmaker yet who's willing to sponsor the increase. Their goal is to get that increase passed by the year 2018.